This video is sponsored by yours truly. And we're gonna go ahead and do it again and go ahead and look at some awesome pro applications to definitely download on your iPad. Now, it doesn't matter if you have an iPad Pro or not, as these apps are my newly discovered applications that allows this amazing device to not only increase your workflow and productivity, but will also allow you to get more creative when it comes to editing awesome stuff. So sit back and relax as we're gonna go ahead and check out this month, newly discovered apps that I find extremely useful for our iPad. Let's go ahead and get started. This first app is a new app that I recently discovered and it's called Endless Paper. Now this app unfortunately isn't free. There is a one-time purchase, which is just $10. But what this app allows you to do is take endless notes. Basically this canvas is endless. It's as if you're taking notes on a whiteboard. I know this application is extremely useful, especially when you're doing like spider web, brainstorm thinking, or maybe you're in video production in class and you're making a timeline. Instead of having notes and switching between page after page, you can literally sketch it all right here on this giant canvas. And you got all the common editing tools that you need. So markers, highlighters, the overall UI is really easy to use and it supports not just the Apple Pencil, but even some third parties. You can easily export it once you're done. There also is a broadcast option that will allow you to actually share this online. You can undo or redo and the bookmark over here allows you to create more canvases. But this was one of the new apps that I recently discovered. And I like it a lot better than having to flip through through pages in a virtual sketchbook. Now, when it comes to making quick video edits, either for social media, or maybe you want to make an official video real quick with the ratio of 16 by nine, Go ahead and check out Video Day. The application is free to download and it gives you a bunch of cool features. I wasn't expecting a free video editing app to give you. A fine example is this actually comes included with copyright free music. So you can easily share this either on YouTube or other social media platforms without having to worry about being copyright striked. The B-roll music is actually high quality surprisingly and actually has a good jingle to set the mood. It has support for picture in picture. So you can add like a little window, there's filters, and you got all the common editing stuff like the ability to slice some clips, delete, and actually add some smooth transitions. So whenever you're doing those quick social media edits on the go, this app basically has everything that you need to make a quick professional looking edited video. Now the third app I want to go ahead and show you is Shazam. Now I already featured Shazam in some of my past videos, but it's even better on the iPad. Reason being is because not only can you quickly identify songs in a matter of seconds when you launch the official app, but on the iPad there actually is full support for a widget. By having it like this, whenever you're at a cafe and you hear like a song that's playing that you really do like, you could just simply tap on it and it's going to be able to identify it right away without verbally requesting Siri to do it for you. Now I know with the today's current condition that's challenging to do but when things get back to normal and next time when you find yourself in a cafe and you hear like a nice song that you want to save you can quickly save it and identify it just like that. Now back to the content creating side of things. Lent Flares is another great app. It's a one-time purchase of five dollars but gives you some incredible lens flare effects. If you ever wanna add like a natural looking lens flare effect, this is the app you would definitely wanna check out. Whenever you're adding lights to either a vehicle or maybe you have a shot like in this type of situation during the golden hour, the sun is right there and you wanna make it pop a bit more, this application will basically allow you to do that. You can add as many layers as you want. You can fine tweak the color, the position. You have full hands-on control to get really creative and create some epic looking shots. I've personally actually used this on my MacBook Pro a long time ago, like over 10 years now I've been using their program. And I just recently found out they're also on the iPad. So if you wanna add some awesome looking lens flare effects without spending that much time on Photoshop, this application has you covered and all these pre-made ones are perfect for all types of situations. Now, if you're looking for a remote desktop app, I recently discovered this application. It does cost $20, it's a one-time purchase, but I think I prefer using this over the Google one because it does make things more secure. It still has full support for Windows, Mac, you can even control your iPhone from your iPad and vice versa. And what I like about this application, this actually does take a full advantage of the Magic Keyboard if you have this on your iPad Pro, which means touchpad control, keyboard support, everything is fully supported here. And what I like about this app 
As long as you have internet connectivity on your device, you can control pretty much all your other desktops. There is a small delay when it comes to viewing content, if you have those two devices side by side, but it's only off by one or two seconds. But this application is extremely useful, especially when you have to do some last minute work remotely in case you forgot something, or you wanna have fast access to your computer in case you forgot to export a certain file that you may have forgot to transfer earlier in the day. Now for this next app, primarily revolves around the latest generation 2020 iPad Pro, because that LiDAR sensor that it has is extremely useful if you combo it with the official Apple measure app. If you have a 2020 iPad Pro, that sensor is extremely accurate when you're trying to measure stuff on the fly. Like this picture frame, for example, it will give you the exact dimension. I find this application extremely useful whenever I'm doing furniture shopping or home improvement projects and I can't find my tape measure. This is an awesome alternative and surprisingly it's very accurate. So if you have a 2020 iPad Pro, highly recommend downloading and checking out this free app. Another app that's extremely cool and it's free to download is Record It. What Record It does basically, whenever you take a screenshot or you have like a guide video you wanna share with somebody like a relative or, or a friend or somebody who needs help in being walked through some type of quick software tutorial, Record It is a great app that will give you this tool as it allows you to actually screenshot but then once you're done doing that screenshot, you can actually add a video clip of yourself walking that person through the tutorial. And yes, you could also use this for gaming if you wanna do this. If you wanna use this as a free software that allow you to put yourself in a video for a game commentary. And you wanna upload that video without spending too much time on the computer editing, this application will allow you to pretty much do that for you. So if this is a tool that you need, check out Record It. So with this application, this will allow you to create those quick tutorial videos. Now very similar to Record It, Double Take is another great application. What this will allow you to do, just like on the iPhone, it will allow you to use all the different lenses that your device has and record two of them at the same time. So with the latest iPad Pro, you have access to three different cameras. So you can choose between two different point of views, like the standard wide or the ultra wide lens. You can have both of them record at the same time to get different angles, or you can have one recording with the front facing camera. You have these modes to choose from. You can either have the two different cameras recording at two separate video files to so export it and edit it later, or you can have the two export it in one video clip, either a split screen or a picture in picture mode. So it's somewhat similar to record it, except for everything is done live and you're not doing it with screen recording, you're actually shooting with the external cameras. So another great tool to possibly check out. Now when it comes to sharing URLs on social media or other platforms, then you need to download Bitly. Bitly is an awesome marketing tool that will not only allow you to create shorter URLs, so you can make those long URLs pleasant to share online, but will also allow you to track some of these URLs and see the performance on how many clicks they average. Now there is a paid version, a subscription version you could subscribe to that will allow you to have more data on where around the world they're clicking these links from and know exactly how many clicks each link is getting on a monthly basis. So this is an excellent marketing tool if you need something like this for marketing purposes. But even the free version is extremely convenient, especially when you're just trying to shorten URLs and make things look more presentable whenever you're sharing certain links. On the iPad, it's really easy to create them. You literally just add a plus, paste a link, and then boom, it would easily just convert that long link into a shorter link that you could easily share all over the internet. And you could track how many clicks they get on average. So if you don't know about this tool, now you know. Now lastly, I want to talk about shift screen. Now I have previously featured this in the past on a previous iPad video, but the reason why I'm covering it again is, is because they recently updated it so that the Magic Keyboard touchpad, even a Logitech one, is fully supported now. And not only that, now there actually is full support for other third-party apps, where in the past, you were strictly limited and you could only use the app itself to just access the browser. And that's basically it. If it was something you were able to use in a web browser, that was all you were given. Now, again, there's support for third-party apps, like, such as Microsoft Word, Excel, Google Docs, which is already a web browser app, I know, but it's here, and a few others. And then you can also multitask without having a black border on the side like you typically would if you were just using the iPad connect to a monitor. So in this application, this eliminates the borders. You can split screen. It really does let you take full advantage of the extra real estate space that your monitor has as if you were actually using a laptop. 
Now this app does have a one-time purchase of $5, but in my opinion, I think it's worth it, especially if you rely on your iPad a lot when it comes to multitasking, because you go actually have three different windows open at once, all border free and it looks really clean, but it's pretty awesome that now they added more support for third-party apps. So there we have it. That was the list of apps that I'm currently now using on my device that I find extremely helpful and I'm sure you guys will too. Link to these apps will be linked in the video description down below. And if you're curious on what type of accessories I have on my Magic Keyboard, I actually went ahead and recently covered that in this accessory video over here as I go through my favorite accessories available right now for the Magic Keyboard. That's including this awesome little bumper protection as well. So be sure to go ahead and check out that video. Then this video over here, that's just a video that YouTube is suggesting specifically for you. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and I'll catch you all in the next one. See ya.